All right, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Sai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Sai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Sai, Baha Son of Chai Kodash. All right, I want to give a double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone Rule Well, and peace and blessings to the house of David the elect on Zahab, the spirit wind Judah. And today I want to go into a quick lesson, ultimately, you know, entitled Be Still and Know That I Am Yahweh. All right, because we have a, a, a fleshly disposition. To sort of, you know, freak out, bug out when we kind of press for situations and, you know, your back's against the wall. And truth be told, the Most High wants your back against the wall, all right? Because that's preparing you um, for the times to come, all right? When you have everyday situations and you're on the edge and, you know, you, you, you're kind of going neck for neck with certain things, all right? That's just the Most High preparing you to keep your composure in stressful times, all right, because we're gonna need that. We're gonna need that that disposition of keeping our composure in the times to come. All right. So from there, I'm gonna get with that. I'm gonna get Psalms 46 and 10. It says, <clears throat> "Be still and know that I am Yahweh. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth." All right, and we gotta be still. And that goes for a lot of um, militant Israelites, if I may call them that, that they feel like they can overthrow. Esau, they could overthrow the wicked. But the Most High saying that he will be exalted among the heathen. All right? I will be exalted in the earth. All right? And we're exalting the Highway Shemar name amongst the heathen as we speak on the highways and the byways. But the, the key point is um, let the Most High do his thing because it's already written. And I'm going to keep saying that through the Spirit, man. It is written. It's already written. Whatever is going to happen is supposed to happen. It's already written. All right? So I'm going to read this again. Psalms 46 and 10. Be still and know that I am Yahweh. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. All right? Yahweh of hosts is with us. Yahweh of hosts. All right? Host means army. <laughs> so the Lord of armies is with us. So, hey, when the scripture says the enemy, when the enemy comes in like a flood and, and the Most High slipped up a standard against him, hey, trust me, the Most High's army is greater than the heathen's army, the Esau's army. All right? It's a whole chapter dedicated to the downfall of Esau going, you know, the most I put the spirit on Esau to go neck for neck with the most high and lose. Or neck with neck with Yahweh Shai and lose, man. All right? Verse 11 again. Yahweh of hosts is with us. The power of Jacob is our refuge, man. So we have to take delight in the refuge that the most high has given us, man. This safety place, man. This, this sanctuary, man. All right? But yeah, we have to pray you have our smile shot that he gives all of us the strength not to fall, not to go by Esau's narrative that he pushes on the world news. You know, Maxine, 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 Maxine. All right, computer virus, computer virus, computer virus. Maxine, Maxine. And if you listen to it every day, you would damn near be thinking, yeah, we, that's what we do need. We do need a Maxine. We do need, you know, because you he, he programs you through repetition. All right, and you, he wants to in, in, instill that panic in you, man. So he could come out as the hero by implementing old girl Maxine. All right, but no, we have to be still, meaning we have to keep calm, keep our composure, man. All right, to so the brothers and the sisters in this thing, you know. All right, and, you know the not let everybody's energy fall on us, like our family's energy and how they react to it, and your coworkers. Don't let don't let that be contagious towards you. Okay. All right, from there. Like, you know, the, the, when Maxine comes out and we're going to refuse it, and it's like, well, you how are you going to eat? Hey, the Most High got us, man. This thing is all about the Most High exalting himself, man. All right? Matthew 6 and 33, one of my most used scriptures. All right? So I'm going to start at 31. All right? I'm going to start at 30. Matthew 6 and 30. Wherefore, if the Most High so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, so he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith. So the most I show you that if he calls the grass of the field, all right, which is destroyed, all right, it'll be destroyed at a thermonuclear missile, man. All right, thermonuclear destruction. How much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? All right. And we both have to we have to feed each other with these scriptures, okay? Verse 31. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles seek. For seek, 
For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. And what does a father primarily do? A father primarily provides. Not for the world, but ultimately just the elect. Ultimately, it's going to be for the elect. So when they implement Maxine, all right, and you can't go back to work unless you, you know, have that test or, you know, that shot, all right? Hey, that's just going to be, then you're going to know it's time to fully de depend on your high watching my side, man, all right? And the thought of it can be scary because we've never experienced that, but hey, that's what a lot of your past situations were for. You know, you might have lost your job or, you know, you, you came up short on the rent. You don't know. You didn't know how it's going to play out. Or right, that's what that's why those situations happen. The most high was preparing you for the, the big finale, man. So we can be honorable like your Howard Shah who went through his his hour of temptation. All right. And, but if we're going to be joint heirs, we're going to we're going to have to be joint sufferers as well, man. So we pray to you, how about Shmuel Shah that whatever we go through, he give us the spirit to endure. All right. Verse 31 again, take Matthew 6 and 31. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what with thought shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of your Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought of the things of itself, sufficient unto the day as the evil thereof. All right? So, a hey, is already written. Tomorrow will bring the things of itself. All right? The Mosai already blueprinted the things that happen tomorrow that's going to happen. He already blueprinted that. In 2021, whatever was supposed to happen April 11th, just to give a random day, and the Mosai already has all the events orchestrated that's supposed to happen April 11th, 2021. And he also has uh, a setup designed to keep you intact on April 11th, 2021, just to throw out a random day. Basically breaking down, look, tomorrow is already orchestrated to play out how it's supposed to play out. So don't even worry about how it's going to play out. All right. But this this more important than ever. We need to have these scriptures in this in this thought process that the most high got us, man. Despite what the media is pushing, the narrative that the media and people around you are pushing, man, because they're basically pushing fear and they want you to fear so you can trust in them. They want you to trust in Esau. They want you to trust in Egypt. All right. That's why it says in Isaiah, it will no more depend on you know them that oppress us, but we'll we'll stay on your high by side. Well, that I hope you brothers and sisters were edified. Once again, I want to give all honor and glory to your high well by some your side by some Kako Das, the Bonus Apostles, Great Millstone, Ruel. Peace and blessed to the house of David the elect. Till the next time, Shalom.